what's up what's up what's going on welcome back so today I guess I'm gonna be showing you some techniques to get your wheels looking better and get that stack of dimes look so let me set up my MIG welder and then we'll get to burning all right got my welder set up so let me show you what I'm running this is my machine it's a clutch 220 it's a MIG stick and TIG so you could do all three in one but we're only doing MIG today so uh, my tank right here is a, it's C25 which is argon and carbon dioxide mix so if you're looking for a budget welder I'll put the link of the description on this one it's real good it works real good not everybody can afford a Lincoln or a Miller so all right first thing first out of anything make sure your settings on your machines is where you want it to be you want to have that uh, bacon sound like that sizzling sound if you're not sure what settings to go with every mostly every machine has a, a guide in the back so like right here it has a guide that's tip number one and tip number two always prep your metal make sure it's clean like this or as clean as possible if not you're gonna have porosity and it's gonna look ugly and you're gonna have a bad day so have the right settings to where you like it and prep your metal right, so I went ahead and tacked up some joints as you can see nice and clean and uh, I'm gonna show you three ways that you can lay down some dimes because this is what you want look at that mmm stacking dimes baby that's what you want right there so three techniques all right so for technique number one it's gonna I call it the, the curse of E method or I think that's what everybody calls it, the curse of E or like little circles. So I hope you can see that. I'm just gonna draw it out for you first. So the curse of E method is like this. You're gonna wanna do this motion right here. Just like a curse of E, just like that. And you wanna stay consistent all the way through. So have like a little beat in your head or something. Just go, mm, 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 just like that. All right, so you could push, which is going you're pushing the puddle this way or you can pull your puddle the way I like to do it I usually just push it but it's good to learn both ways because you never know sometimes you're stuck in a position where you have to go the other way I have my wire kind of long just to show you as a, as a pointer you're gonna want to start right there and then just start doing your cursive E all the way through all right so now let's put it into practice So that's one method. Method number two that you could also do, I call it the zigzag or the back and forth motion. So you're gonna start, go in a little bit, and then go back a little bit. Go in a little bit, and then go back a little bit. Go in a little bit, and go back a little bit. All the way through with a good motion. Start, go in, back, pause a little bit, go in, back a little bit, pause, go in, go back, and pause. All the way through. I kind of rushed it right here, as you can see, but it's all about practice, guys. All about practice. For technique number three, I call it the halfway moon or the C motion technique. So basically what you're going to do is kind of like draw a halfway moon all the way through like this. All right, I'm gonna draw it out for you right here. I hope you can see this. All right, so that's your joint right there, and then you're gonna wanna make halfway moons. So you're, you're gonna start, go up, and then make a C, or a halfway moon, go up, halfway moon.
basically you're just drawing. That's that's how I see it. Every time I will, you're basically just drawing stuff. Alright, so there it is, the halfway moon. So, whichever you want to do, it's all up to you. They all work great, they all work fine. You get a great weld just like that. Alright, so let's recap. Tip number one, check the settings on your machine. Tip number two, prep your metal, make sure it's clean or as clean as possible. Tip number three, you want to be relaxed, calm. You don't want to be stressed when you're doing this. Just get real comfortable and just get your motion right and just start going at it you could use these three methods that I showed you or there's other methods out there too whatever works for you use it so this is my gift to you so so if you like these techniques go ahead and like this video leave a comment and you want to see more welding fabrication stuff go ahead and subscribe so that's pretty much it for this video so like comment subscribe I hope I see you in the next video stay dope and start laying them dimes